Alright boys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about a new update, a new DLC for summer that Rockstar have announced. Um, There's going to be coming on the 20th of this month, so just a few days away. So first we're going to watch the trailer and then we're going to head over to the newswire and read what they have to say about it. So let's get into it. Welcome to the LS car meet. Don't play that this ball. We got the fastest cars, trucks, bikes, all of it. Only thing we don't got is beef. You look familiar. I know you from somewhere. I just got one of them faces. Don't even worry about it. All the time down the slide by with a pretty freak by my side. By my side. With a pretty freak by my side. So here we are on Rockstar's Newswire. Um, there's the trailer um, that we've just watched. Los Santos Tuners, this is called Coming July 20th. Join the Automotive Underground in the latest GTA online update now. I've had a quick flick and this seems to be a bit of a long one. There's a lot of information here. So on July 20th, the underground tuner scene in Los Santos roars to life with the launch of GTA Online Los Santos Tuners. In addition to a ton of action-packed tuner-based missions and races, this update introduces the LS Carmite, a gigantic shared social space where you and your cherished personal vehicles can mingle freely with fellow car fans to race, show off your customised vehicles and even link up with shady contacts looking for skilled drivers and a chance at easy money, which is great. So, the LS Carmite, to get started, you'll need to visit a nondescript graffitied warehouse on the edge of town in Cypress Flats. Kind of looks like um, your vehicle warehouse from um, the office. Listen close and the sound of engines revving might give it away. Or look for the makeshift finish line on the road outside. Inside the LS car meet has a good vibes only policy. Making it a great place to skip the attention of the law and any small time chumps looking to terrorise the citizens of Greater Los Santos. That means other guys who aren't doing this. This is obviously going to be a separate space. And if you're not a part of this, you're just messing about in the game. Those guys can't come and kill you. They can't come and blow up all your nice cars and whatever. So that's good. Park your attitude and your weaponised vehicles at the door and share your love of car culture with some like-minded personalities again. Park your weaponised vehicles at the door. So, you know, those vehicles with weapons on them, you can't bring them in and start destroying everybody else's vehicles, which is brilliant. Um, and share your love of car culture with some like-minded personalities. Here you'll find countless ways to immerse yourself in the beating heart of the scene. Show off prized personal vehicles from your collection or check out everybody else's. That's a nice car there, I have to say. This should bring out some nice cars. LS Car Meet Membership. Dropping 50,000 to become an LS Car Meet member will get you even more privileges. So I feel like that could be um, a cheap version of the penthouse in the casino that made you a member. You had to buy the penthouse. Here you have to buy a membership, but 50k in GTA Online, that's nothing. To start, you'll unlock a new reputation progression with new benefits unlocking after each level. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, you can keep leveling up. Plus, you'll get access to the test track, a large underground space inside the Carmate Warehouse where you and your friends can drive, drift, and race vehicles freely without interference from pesky pedestrians or the law. So it sounds like this membership, it is going to get, it's going to be like the penthouse, as I said, and it's going to unlock this space for you and that's your space which is great because again 50k nothing for that um so where do we get to um without interference you can also sample new test rides in the test track your chance to get behind the wheel of a rotating selection of vehicles and push their limits members will also get to compete in rotating prize ride challenges for the opportunity to win a special prize ride and get access to a range of special shops and features including the merch shop, tattoo shop and modern area where you can show off your customization prowess to the players in real time as you work on your stance build 
Higher level members can also create a private takeover, complete with customizable lighting and banner colors to decorate the car meet space to your taste. So you can customize this. It's like a garage, really. It's like a big open garage, which absolutely class. So new races. LS Tuners introduces new races inside and outside the car meet, each with their own leaderboards. On the test track, you can engage in friendly competitions like head-to-head, -head, where speed and precision will give you the necessary advantage to best your opponent in a short format race and scramble, where up to four players race to collect 20 checkpoints. Time trials around the test track give you the chance to put your vehicles through their paces and score your own personal record. Up to 30 players will share the track with you, but contact will be disabled while competing, and members can also go into private test tracks solo. Off the test track and throughout the city, there are also new race series for members, street race series and pursuit series. The street race series delivers exactly what it says in the can, bruising competition on creative tracks built on the streets of some of Los Santos' most scenic neighbourhoods, complete with shortcuts that are as much about risk as they are reward. The Pursuit series offers drivers a more open-ended experience with checkpoints based and um, placed sparsely throughout the map to encourage creative routes. After all, you'll be competing against your fellow racers as long as well as having LSPD's finest hot on your heels. Meanwhile, Sprint offers a point-to-point -point challenge in free mode with up to three other drivers in a breakneck race from the LS car meet out to various locations like LSIA and back. So cool races coming in there earning rep in the underground world of custom car enthusiasts reputation and street cred are valuable commodities um in the underground world of the car mate reputation is a valuable commodity earn rep by participating in and winning races daily login bonuses putting in time on the test track and even just hanging out at the car mate earning rep gets you an assortment of rewards to elevate your status in the scene these include unlocking access to all sorts of fashionable gear, flashy new customization options like new wheels and liveries, as well as trade prices on certain vehicles across access to new race modes and even the ability to hold your own private car mate. So yeah, the typical um, being just a, a VIP member. The new vehicles, so we've got the Karen Calico GTF, the Karin Futo GTX, the Anas Euros, the Anas Euros, Vapid Dominator GTT, the Anas ZR350, the Dinka RT3000, the Vulcar Warner HKR, the Obey Tailgater S, I like that design, the orange and black's really nice, the Dinka, Je Dinka Jester RR, the Anas Remus, and that is it, so... Even that one's actually nice to be fair, the Coleco GTF. Um, naturally, this update to GTA Online will inject a whole new ensemble of fresh vehicle inventory along across Los Santos dealerships, ranging from imported tuner cars from Anis, Dinka, Ubermacht and more to that straight up vapid muscle that Americans have come to know and love. There will be 17 new cars in total over the course of the summer, with 10 dropping at launch on July 20th. So don't even all come out straight away it's kind of making you wait plus when gta online launches on ps5 and xbox series x later this year select vehicles will be upgradable with new speed improvements and more these special upgrades will only be available on um the new gen so that's kind of annoying because what's more annoying about it is that new gen is so hard to get your hands on so i don't think i understand having new gen you're like we should get some class upgrades in all games but i don't think games should go too over the top with it because if you can't get new gen like if you physically can't get it never mind the price you know it's not really fair but yeah it is what it is the los santos community meetup playing gta online from now until the launch of los santos tuners will give you the opportunity to earn some special rewards just meet up by playing GTA Online anytime between now and launch to get the LS Customs tea and participate in any impromptu race accessible via the interaction menu to receive the LS Tour jacket. Um, which I wonder is that the jacket she's wearing there? Maybe it is. 
Play and earn special rewards. Stealing or successfully selling a vehicle to LS Customs in free mode will also earn you the LS Customs overalls or coveralls. Perfect for your inner grease monkey. Claim your rewards by playing LS tuners on or after July 20th. Your items will land in your wardrobe 72 hours after logging in after July 23rd. So I wonder, is that just any vehicle in free mode and selling it to LS Customs? Is that... It's pretty easy and more stay tuned for more details on ls tuners at the newswire next week it's specifically um a look at contact or contracts for new robberies where you'll put your driving skills to the ultimate test alongside a familiar face from the music locker and um, which i believe was seen in the trailer new robberies like the sound of that i like a good mission or maybe not a it's not a heist but a good mission to come with this update so some robberies where you're gonna have to make a quick getaway that would be really class so that is it for today's video that is what we know about the update everything that rockstar have released the update comes out in three days from now when i'm recording and uploading this it's cool and um, they're definitely going for more basic just fast cars instead of you ruining the game with weaponized vehicles which i think is good i i'm excited to see some nice um sports cars come in um and it'll be interesting to see when you unlock that private space by becoming a member you know how we can customize it what it's going to look like i always like having something private like the penthouse like the the nightclub being able to own something i think that's cool and i'm excited for the robberies big fan of the missions coming with an update now this is just the midsummer update. Um, I don't think it's as big as the nightclub one was, but there is still gonna be a big update this year. Um, from what I've seen and what people have been saying, there's still gonna be a big, big, probably heist update. Um, but this is the the mid uh, mid year update, the summer update, and very, very heavily car focused. So. The car lovers on GTA are going to be buzzing, lads. Drop a like. Leave a comment because YouTube loves comments. Makes my videos bang when you comment. So, really appreciate it. Sub to the channel. Trying to hit 750 subs over summer. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.